video aims to share what we learned while conducting swap analysis of our chosen site in Cowley Road. As you can see, the site is located towards the east of Oxford and is a large open space used mainly by residential goers and as well as commuters. Throughout the video, we will be conducting various swap analyses as well as exploring the four urban design principles, permeability, active interface, vitality and variety. Being a large open space, we believe that the site had great permeability. The mixed use of the fields, as well as a great choice of routes available, added to this. However, one main weakness was the uninspiring and often off-putting entrances to the site, as Ross will explain here. Um, this is the, one of the access points to the um, Cowley Marsh Park, and as you can see, there's big black fences that were the original big black gates that were probably the original access points that are now closed off. So you now have to come along Marsh Road. And this is one of the main access points here. This is one of just five access points that we believe can be improved. And you can see this large fence that um, separates um, the houses from this pathway which causes a real inactive edge and as, as, you, as we continue to walk on there is a little bit of space in between the house and the, um, and the fence but it's not really used for much. As you can see there's not too much going on there. Um, so they could have lowered the fence because it's not as if it's segregating or cutting off a private space but they could lower the fence and make surveillance a little bit more um, useful overlooking this path which can at night there's only one two three four five six seven street lamps surrounding it which can make it a little bit um, dangerous and uncomfortable for people who are planning to travel at night the balance between personal privacy and provided surveillance varies throughout the site and definitely works better in some areas than others. Although the buildings surrounding the site are of the same type, the site's proximity to Cowley Road, as well as the vast range of uses it can offer, add to its variety. you do have the benefits you do have the wonderful space where you have two football pitches well three football pitches sorry um, and then you have another park <laughs> and um, another park over here um, for recreational activities so it's wide open space and you can see along the cycle path to the rear that you've got lots of trees and a good network of shrubbery and and that make the area nice in the summertime the site is flanked both to the north and south by two main routes into the heart of the city with Cowley Road to the south and the cycle track to the north high volumes of people pass the site every day Although access in other parts of the site may be a problem, this is not the case where the cycle path runs as it provides access on it along its entire length. Although there are a few unsightly features in the park, for instance this factory wall, we believe it is made up for by the abundance of public furniture and greenery. We have covered a few design actions within our report. For instance, improving the green and blue networks by opening up the streams and replacing fences with hedges and other green barriers. Another main concern of ours was improving the site access, either by improving existing points of access or creating new ones entirely. We also looked at the active edges with a view to improve the surveillance given in some areas of the park. 